Hello everyone, I hope you've had a lovely Christmas and that you've had some great presents and uh, that you've had a good time with your families. And today's story is about some more gifts. Uh, this time not for you, but for baby Jesus. So here's Jenny to tell us the story. Hello everyone, it's time for me to tell you the next part of the story. So I hope that you're sitting comfortably and you're ready. I wonder if you've been for a little walk around Malvern and had a little look at all of the Advent Trail. Well, today our story is going to begin with one of these. It's a really bright, shiny one. Maybe you even helped to make it. So now it's time to tell you part of the story after Jesus has been born. And grown-ups call this part of the story the Epiphany story. No one's really sure how old Jesus is. Maybe he's still a tiny baby, or maybe some people think that he might have even been a toddler. There are things that we do know, though. We know that there were wise men, and we know that they came from the east. Now, it doesn't say that there are three of them, but maybe people think that there were three because there were three presents that Jesus was given. And it also doesn't say that they came on camels, but maybe because they came from the east and it was a long way, maybe people thought that camels were the way that they did travel. What we do know that was in Jerusalem, there was a king called King Herod. And the wise men first went to Jerusalem. And when they got there, they asked the king, well, where is the baby? that's been born. We've seen the star for a new king being born in the sky. Well, where is he? Now, when King Herod heard this, he was really bothered. In fact, the whole town of Jerusalem was bothered. And so the king got all the people who were in charge together, all the people who were good at reading, and good at writing with their big fat books. And he said, go and read all your big fat books and find out where is it that this king is supposed to be born because he's definitely not here. All the chief people in Jerusalem came back to the king and they told him that they'd read all their big books and that the baby would be born in just a small place, not maybe very important, but that the place that the king would be born was Bethlehem. And so that's where the wise men set off. And the king, Herod, also secretly called the wise men and said to them, when you find the new king, please come back and tell me, because I would like to go there to worship him too. I wonder if you have ever thought what those wise men look like. I'm sure they didn't look like this. Maybe they looked a little bit more like this. We don't know if they had a camel, but I thought you'd like to see the camel anyway. Do you think maybe they looked a little bit like this? Maybe they did have long beards. Who knows? I'm definitely sure that they didn't look very much like this. The thing we do know for sure is that there were three presents, but they definitely did not look like this. I'm sure there was no wrapping paper. There was no ribbon. So here are the presents that we do know about. There was gold. That's quite easy to understand what that would have looked like. But the other two are really quite funny things to bring to a newborn baby. There were no toys. There was no new clothes or blankets. There was some gold and something called frankincense. And frankincense was the sort of juice that used to come out of a tree that set all solid and hard. But when you burned it, the smoke made a beautiful, beautiful smell. And myrrh, I don't know what myrrh would have looked like, but that came out of a tree. So maybe it was all powdery like this. Who knows? And that smelled nice as well. But they were special presents with a special meaning. 
and the very last part of the story when the wise men went to find Jesus in the stable is that the three, or was it three, the wise men had a dream and the dream told them that they were not to go back to Jerusalem and they weren't to go back and tell Herod where to find Jesus. And so that they left Bethlehem and went back to their country in the east by a different way. I'm sure they didn't fall over like that either. Our prayers today are going to use a star, just like the star that those wise men followed to find Jesus. Thank you, God, for the story of the wise men and from all the things that we can learn from that story. Uh, Lord, we want to pray for all people who are parents today and help them look after and care for their children. Lord, we pray for people who are in charge, especially people who are in charge of our country. Help them to do the right things and to make the right plans for our country. Lord, just like the wise men were looking and searching for Jesus, we pray for all people who are looking and searching to find Jesus, wherever they may be, that they will be able to find Jesus for their life. And Lord, just like the wise men who studied those stars, we pray for all people who learn, all people who learn in school and universities, and we pray that all their learning may be good things. And we ask these prayers in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, thank you, Jenny, for that. That was great. And um, that's the last of our Christmas story. So next week, we're going to be starting something new. It'll be a bit of a surprise. It's a bit of a surprise to me, too, at the moment, because we haven't quite decided what we're going to do. But there will be something, another new video for you next week. So have a good week and whatever you're doing and stay safe. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>